Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Jennifer Marie, where I teach you different ways to make money online and also how to become a freelancer. So I'm excited about today's tutorial. I want to teach you all about how to use WISE, formerly known as TransferWISE. If you ever travel to different countries or live abroad, or you earn an income in a currency other than your own, this is for you. WISE has saved me hundreds if not thousands of dollars. Basically by setting up a personal WISE account, you can send and receive money in multiple currencies from countries worldwide. I'm going to teach you step-by-step -step how to create an account using WISE and verify your account. I'm also going to show you how to add money to your WISE account, how to perform international money transfers, how to open balances in multiple currencies, and more. If you are interested in making money online, this tutorial is for you. I earn money from Upwork.com and also other different websites in US dollars, but I'm a Canadian citizen. So before I had a WISE account, I was losing so much money because of my bank's currency conversion fees. So if you open up a WISE.com account, you can do all of this online and it's going to make it so much easier for you to accept US dollars or any other currency and transfer that into your bank account. So first of all, I want to talk to you a little bit about WISE. WISE is used by over 15 million customers. I have been using it for years. You can see here, 175 countries, 50 currencies, one account. So for example, let's say you have a thousand US dollars that you've earned from a company. That can be deposited into your WISE.com account. And then you can send it to another account that you have in your country's currency. So for example, I could transfer that into Canadian dollars within my WISE account or transfer it into my Canadian bank and save on banking fees. So if you want to check if WISE.com is right for you or if your country is one of the 175 countries, you can scroll down here and see what is available for you based in your country. So I'm in Spain, so you can see all the things that are available to me. Let's say you're in Canada, you have the option to send money cheaper and easier than with banks, you can send money at the real exchange rate with no hidden fees. You can also get this debit card, which I have, and that means when you travel to other countries, you can use this. So for example, I was in the United States in the summer and I put money in the US balance on my card and every time I used my card in the United States, it went directly from my US balance. So I wasn't getting gouged every time I used my card. You can also receive payments like a local in 10 currencies, and you can convert and hold 52 currencies. I have a lot of subscribers from Pakistan, for example. So here, you can still send money at the real exchange rate with no hidden fees, and also you can receive payments like a local in nine currencies. So what this means is a lot of people in Pakistan can't use PayPal, but they could open up a wise.com account and get paid from these different companies online in US dollars. So just go through here and type in whatever country you are from to see what the options are for you and if it's worth it to open up a WISE.com account. So there are two different options. You can either open up a WISE business or a personal account. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to open up a WISE personal account. And the personal WISE account is for people living, working, and traveling abroad. It's perfect for anyone who needs to spend or receive money internationally. I have a personal WISE account and I receive all the earnings I get from Upwork into my WISE account. You could also open up a business account. So before I teach you how to set up your own account step-by-step, -step, I have linked you to my referral link, which will give you a fee-free transfer. So your first transfer up to 500 British pounds will be completely free. And when you click on this link, you will be asked whether or not you want to set up a personal or a business account. Now, if you decide to set up a personal one, you can also create a business one later on. So just type in your email address, then your password, your country of registration, and click claim your fee free transfer. So you can see here that at the top, I have different balances. I have a Euro balance, I have a US dollar balance, Australia, Canadian, British, and you can just go over to the side and click open, and you can open up a balance in whatever currency you want. So if I click open, then I can choose a currency in over 50 currencies. So I could choose Indian rupee, Swiss franc, whichever currency you want. And what this allows me to do, it allows me to transfer money into one of these balances. So for example, when I went to the United States in the summer, I put a few hundred dollars into my US dollar account. And what's amazing about WISE is you have separate 
banking information for each of your accounts. So even though I am not a US citizen, within my WISE account, I have banking information that pertains to a US bank. So I can receive US dollars directly into my WISE US bank account. You can see here that I have USD account details. And this allows me to receive money from people and businesses with these USD account details. So I can receive payment from Upwork and from all sorts of other companies. Okay, now let's create our account. So enter your email address and click next. Now select personal or business account. Note that you can create another account later on as well. Enter your country of primary residence and click continue. Now verify your phone number with a code. They'll send a verification code and you're going to type it in. After that, create your password and click continue. So now you're registered with WISE. You'll be asked what you'd like to do. So you can transfer money abroad, you can order your WISE card if this option is available to you, and you can open a balance in a new currency. You can come back to the other options later. We're going to go through the steps to order the WISE card. If you don't want to do this, you can skip ahead to the next chapter of this video. So first fill in your name, date of birth, country of residence, and home address and occupation. If you're not currently working, you can choose unemployed. Then click confirm. To get your card, you'll need to add in some more details. Enter your card delivery address, set your card pin, add money to your account, and verify your identity. So let's click continue. First, under delivery options, we're going to choose the free option so your card will come by standard post. And don't worry, you do not need the physical card in order to use WISE. You can do it all online. Then click continue. Next, they'll give you options of how your name will appear on the card. Select your preferred name and click continue. Now create a four digit card pin number for when you are making transactions at stores or trying to withdraw money at the bank and click save pin. Now you'll need to add some money to your account. They'll ask you to add a specific amount of money depending on what country you are in. In my case, it is 30 Canadian dollars. I want to note that this is not a fee you have to pay to get a WISE card. This money will be transferred into your account and you can use it the same way you would if it was in your own bank account. The only fee you will have to pay is based on how you would like to transfer money into your account. So if you pay with direct debit, it's only a seven cent fee. Because I want to finish this setup quickly for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to choose debit card for a 65 cent fee, then click continue to payment. Now enter your card details and click the green pay button. So again, you will have access to the $30 or whatever you add to the account aside from the small fee. Now it's time to verify our account. Enter your purpose for using WISE, for example, spending money while traveling abroad, and press continue. Now you'll need to upload proof of your identity. So select the country that issued the ID you're going to take a picture of and your document type. This could be a passport, driver's license, national ID, or something similar. Then click continue. Now upload a photo or a scan of your document. I just took a photo of the ID with my camera and click continue. Now WISE will verify your documents and this shouldn't take too long. In the meantime, we can explore our account. So click show me my cards. If you click on home, you'll see the money added to your account once your documents have been verified. Now let's say we want to open a balance in another currency. Click on open. You can choose to open a balance to send, receive and spend money or a jar to set aside money that works like a piggy bank. Let's open a balance. Choose to open a balance in the currency of your choice. We're going to open a US dollar balance. This will give us a wire routing number, ACH routing number, SWIFT code, and a personal account number. We can use these to share with people or companies who want to pay us in United States dollars. Then click confirm. Now click on get account details for your USD balance and click on get account details again. Before we can get these details, we'll need to finish verifying our identity. We've already deposited money, so that has been checked. But now we need to verify our identity again. Click verify your identity. You'll need to take pictures of your document and face with your phone. You can either click get link by email or scan a QR code. I chose to do this by scanning the QR code, but you can just click the link sent to you by email while you're on your phone 
and then take a clear picture of your identity document. Then you'll be prompted to take a selfie. Then click I finished verifying. After that, you'll get a message saying that's everything we need. Thanks. And WISE will let you know once your documents have been verified. You can click explore your account. You'll see it says verifying your identity. This took less than half an hour to get verified in my case. In the remainder of this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to add a bank account, how to convert currency, and how to send money. So first of all, we need to add a bank account. You're going to click here on recipients, and here you have your accounts and your recipients. Your accounts is where you will add your bank information, and your recipients are people you want to send money to. So we're going to click here on add your bank account. You're going to choose the currency of your bank. So let's say for example, you're from India, you choose the Indian rupee, and then here you'll put in your local bank account details. So this will be different depending on what country you are from. And then simply click confirm. To add a recipient or someone you want to send money to, just click add a recipient. And then go ahead and fill out the currency of their bank account, their email, and their bank information. Now I want to teach you how to convert currency. So let's say you have money in your US dollar account and you want to convert this to your currency. You can click here on convert. You're going to choose how much money you want to convert. So let's say I want to convert 50 US dollars into Euro. They'll show you how much you have available in your balance. It's a 23 cent fee to convert this money and I would receive 46.44 Euro. So then click continue. It will ask you if everything looks right and then click convert. So it will say all done. You've converted 50 United States dollars to 46.44 Euro. Click got it. So now when I go to home, this money has now been added to my Euro balance. And finally, I want to show you how you can send money. So you have two different options. Let's say I have United States dollars and I want to send money to my Euro bank account. My first option is that I can convert this money into Euro and then send it to my European bank account. The other option is to do it directly from your US balance. So I have $32.83 left in my US balance. I can just click send and I can choose to either send it in the same currency. Let's say I want to send this to a bank account in the same currency as the United States, or I would select international. So let's say I want to send this to my European bank account. I put in the amount of money I want to send. So let's say I wanted to send $30, then I'd click continue, and then I would put in the bank information. So I could click new contact, and I could say myself, for example, I wanted to send it to myself, and I would put in my European bank account details, and then click confirm. And if you want to add money to one of these balances, you would just click on the balance, then click add, and let's say, for example, I want to add 200 euro to my bank balance. You can select how you want to pay, so pay with euro or pay with Canadian dollars, for example. They'll tell you how much it will cost you in the currency that you're paying with and what the fees are. And then you'll click continue. And then you would just go through to verify that you want to add this to your balance and you can pay from your bank account that you've already linked to WISE or with a debit or credit card. So there are so many things you can do with a WISE.com account. I really recommend you create one. This has saved me so much money. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section of this video, or if you want more tutorials related to WISE, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more tips on how to become a freelancer. And I look forward to seeing you in my next tutorial.